Hello everyone, my name is Michael Spetta. I'm the Director of Creative here at Layer and I'd like to give you a high level overview of the tool. Before we get started diving into the different features of the tool, let's take a quick look at the menu bar. The home button takes you back to the home screen at any time. Selecting drive takes you to the file explorer. Here you can access all of your files. Selecting styles takes you to the styles page. Here you can build a new style and import models. Selecting history takes you to the history page. Here you can access all of your past prompt inputs. Selecting forge is where you can start a forge session to generate assets. In the layer ecosystem, forging means creating an asset via the prompt box. Selecting canvas starts a canvas session. Now let's take a closer look at the home screen. Front and center, we have the create panel. Here you can quickly access essential functions like starting to forge assets, start a canvas session, and build a new style. Below the create panel, you can access your most recent forge and canvas session. Moving on to the drive, here you can access all of your files, including your generated assets, trained art styles, and images. On the left side, you can filter your files by asset type. Images are image files like PNGs and JPEGs. Assets are unexported and editable layer generations. Styles are your custom AI trained models. At the top of the drive page, you can search for a specific file. On the top right of the drive page, you're able to upload assets, create a folder for organization, create assets or art styles. Now let's take a look at the styles page. Here you're able to build a new style or import a model from third party. We'll get into best practices and the process of building your style in another tutorial. For this video, we'll keep things high level. Towards the bottom half of the page, here you can filter through your workspace styles. These are styles you and your team have created in your workspace. Imported styles are AI models you've trained elsewhere. Layer styles are trained models that can be a good starting point for game background, game characters, game UI, and icons. Exploration styles are not trained models, but are a great way to quickly forge specific asset styles. Just a note here, since these are not trained models, they can generate inconsistent results, but they're a great way to quickly conceptualize and find inspiration. Now, the forge page is the meat and potatoes of layer. In the top left is where you can name your forge session and set where in your drive the session will be saved. This is great for keeping your workspace organized and efficient. Front and center on the forge page is the layer prompt box. The prompt box is where you can describe what asset you want to forge, select the style of that forge asset, and also set a reference. We'll dive into forging assets, ideal workflow, and a thorough walkthrough of best practices in another session. Below the prompt box, you'll find your forged assets generated in this session. Now, once you have your forged asset or have an idea of what you'd like to create, you can start a canvas session. Similar to a forge session, at the top of the canvas tool is where you can name your canvas session. Front and center here in the canvas page is a prompt box to forge assets directly onto the canvas. We have layers in the canvas. You can select certain elements, make changes by forging, and put them on new layers. And keep your layers organized like you would in Photoshop. Below, we have our tools panel. Like Photoshop, you can sketch a rough idea on the canvas and use that as a reference to forge. Use the eraser to intelligently remove objects, mask an area or an object, and make changes and updates to that asset by forging. On the right side is where you can find your forged assets. Once you're ready, you can export your project as a PNG with transparency or as a PSD with layers to make the final edits in Photoshop. We'll dive into best practices for building styles and ideal workflows when in a forged session or when you're using the canvas in future tutorials, so stay tuned. 